So today I'm going to be discussing the final URL expansion for Performance Max campaigns. So should you be turning it on or should you be turning the final URL expansion off? So depending on when you watch this video, you might see a different interface within Google Ads. So in this video, I want to show you how you can turn the final URL expansion on or off. I'm also going to give you some pros and cons of both turning it on or off. I'll also tell you another feature which Google is trying to sneakily put into your Google Ads campaigns. So watch till the end because this is totally related to the final URL expansion. So keep watching. So what is final URL expansion? The final URL expansion is it's a feature within Google Ads specifically available on Performance Max campaigns. So if you're using Performance Max campaigns, it's absolutely imperative that you understand what this feature is. The feature basically allows the Google's algorithm to automatically modify the final URL of your ads to make them more contextually relevant to the user who sees your ad. So essentially what you're doing is that you're giving Google the flexibility to tailor the URL based on various factors like uh, not user behavior or search queries or the contextual cues that Google is, is giving out uh, based on what the user searched for. So understanding the final URL expansion feature in Google Ads in the Performance Max campaigns is absolutely crucial for a number of reasons, more so if you're aiming to optimize your advertising efforts. So here's why. Increased relevancy, and what I mean by that, it's a feature that allows Google to make your ads more contextually relevant to the individual who sees your ads. So it does this by matching the URL parameters to the search intent or the behavior of the end user. So using this feature, it could potentially increase the likelihood of a user clicking on your ad. The second thing that final URL does, expansion does, is that it's better click-through rates or CTR as we so call it. Third thing, it's argue, arguably improves your conversion rate. So I'm a bit skeptical about that at the moment, but hey, in theory, it's designed to help you increase your conversion rates. Another point which I'd like to mention at this point in time is that having strategic control, although this feature can like add value, it's important to know when to use it and when to keep off it. So for certain campaigns where you want to have complete control over the displayed URL or where the tracking URL parameters are essential to you, you might want to disable this option or keep it off because that will give you the full control. Your ads are being shown exactly the way you want them to be displayed in. So how does it work? How does final URL expansion work? So Google uses machine learning to assess the user's behavior and the search intent. The final URL alters the final URL by adding or changing parameters. So one other thing to note is that it does not affect the landing page content just the URL. Essentially, it can take people to another page of your website. So you want to be aware of that, that just because you've specified a certain page that you want people to be taken to that page, it's by enabling this option, they're not necessarily going to go to that page. Google will determine what is the best page that the user should be taken to based on the, on the factors that I mentioned above. So earlier, I also mentioned that in order to turn turn your final URL expansion on, there's another feature which Google has sneakily put in, and that is text assets. So with text assets, so although you've given Google your headlines, your description lines, and so on, you're giving Google permission to look at your landing page and dynamically replace or replace all or parts of your text ads. So whatever Google deems necessary, that will match the user's query. So for those of you who might have used dynamic search ads, this is exactly what text ads will do. So for example, if someone's searching for bamboo dining sets, 
Google may Google's description may may say cheap bamboo dining sets, which may be against your company's content guidelines. So you need to be careful that uh, what control you're giving to Google because it could be a more serious impact if your website gives uh, maybe health or medical related advice. So for example, I have a client who offers diabetes advice and treatments. So serving the wrong ads or misle misleading ads could potentially have a serious impact on the user's expectations if Google decides to use the wrong words or even misinterpret some of the words. So here's some pros and cons about using the final URL expansion options. Some pros is that it has better relevancy for the searcher. It's potentially got, gonna give you a higher click-through rate or CTR. So what that could mean is that potentially you could have more higher conversions. And the reason I'm skeptical about that is, is it's a relatively new feature and just because the users type something in it and Google's going to tailor you the ads to get a higher click-through rate is it is it possible that you're misleading people into something which may not reflect your actual products or sales so you might be getting a lot of clicks but are they going to turn it into conversions so it's something that you need to keep testing again and again so now I'm going to tell you a few of the cons about using the final, final URL expansion is that you get a loss of control over the exact uh, URL that's displayed. You get a loss of control over the text that Google can use so that, um, so that it, to it decides which headlines or, or which parts of the headlines or descriptions to modify based on the user search. Also, it can make tracking uh, your analytics a bit more complicated because you don't exactly know where the user is is being taken to. So for example, if your website domain name or link is www.domainname.com forward slash product, the extended URL might change it to www.yourdomain.com forward slash product color equals red, for example. Right, so it could alter it. So you, so you've got a loss of control over that factor. It's a very serious thing to take into account because your analytics team, who are monitoring your the performance of your Google Ads campaigns or the sales, will want to know that what's going on here. So, how do you turn your final URL expansion on or off? I'm now going to take you onto a screen share and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Here we go. Okay, so this is how you turn the final URL expansion on or off. You go into your campaign, so click on your campaign and then you click on your settings. Then you scroll down your page here and you come to this section here, campaign settings. Now I did use the word final URL expansion, but Google has renamed this. Now it comes under automatic created assets. So if you click on that automatically created assets, you'll see these options here. And you'll see that the final URL, uh, I won't be able to turn it on or off until I click the text assets on or off. So now I'm giving permission for to Google to just amend the text assets. And now over here, I can turn on the final URL on. And then I simply need to click on the save button. And likewise, if you find that your final URL is on, you go to exactly the same section and you can turn it off. And if you like, you can turn off text assets as well and then click on the save button. So guys, I hope you found this video useful on how to how to change your full final URL expansion on or off. I hope you now understand exactly how to do it. Hope you understand the benefits, the pros and cons of using it as well as allowing Google to change your, your your text assets so that even though you specified your text assets like description lines for example Google's got the right to amend whatever it wants to amend so guys please do hit that subscribe button do hit the notifications button because over 70 percent of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed to it but yet you can see you continue to consume my content so do hit that subscribe button at the same time if you've 
created a performance max campaign what's been your experience of how it's worked let me know in the comments below that how what your experience of performance max is and uh, likewise of the final url expansion and any other comments that you got about performance max remember guys get a copy of this book how to win customers with google ads the book is free the only thing you gotta do is to cover the shipping cost and there'll be a link in the description below i look forward to seeing you on the next video goodbye for now